Welcome back. I'm Bob Kirkpatrick with today's sports. Big Bend basketball dropped road games to Spokane last night. It was a third loss in a row for the Lady Vikings, who fell to 3-4 and four in the NWAC East region standings after dropping their contest 69-57 to the Lady Sasquatch. Big Ben trailed 34-28 at the break and was outscored 35-29 in the second half. Jessica Sorensen led the offensive attack for the Lady Vikings with 16 points. Riley Jamet knocked down 14 in the loss. The running Vikes came oh so close to pulling out a win, but came up three points short in a 79-77 loss to Spokane. It was a nip and tuck battle for the entire 40 minutes with the Sasquatch up 38-37 at intermission. Spokane edged Big Ben 41-40 in the second half of action. Brendan Westendorf was high score for the running Vikes with, 30, with 23 points. Sean McDonald had a double-double of 19 points and 13 rebounds, and Kevin Walker finished with 13 points in the loss. The running Vikes dropped to 4-3 and three in conference play, but are just two games back of Columbia Basin and Treasure Valley, who are tied for first. Big Bend is on the hardwood Saturday when the teams hit the road to match up with Yakima Valley. The Soap Lake Eagles are number one in boys basketball. The 1B state rankings were released yesterday, and the Eagles were voted the top team for the first time in school history. Soap Lake is 8-0 in Central Washington 1B South Conference play and 15-1 overall. The Eagles hit the road Friday for a non-league game with North Conference powerhouse Bateras. It was turnover Thursday at Super Bowl practice today for the Seahawks. The team focused on creating them on defense and not making them on offense, an approach that has worked well for Seattle this season. The stingy Seattle defense led the NFL with 39 takeaways, a fact Peyton Manning and the Denver Broncos are well aware of. Russell Wilson prefers to call the 90-minute session no turnover Thursday for the offense, which does not want to give the Broncos any extra opportunities with fumbles or interceptions. Turnover Thursday followed competition Wednesday, a game-like practice session in which the Seahawks run a live scrimmage that includes a play clock. Jason Calisti came off the bench and scored 20 points to help Oregon blow past Washington State 71-44 last night, ending the Ducks' five-game skid. Q Johnson had nine points for the Cougars in the lopsided loss. Sam Dower Jr. made a game-winning three-pointer with 1.9 seconds left, and Gonzaga avoided its first loss at Santa Clara since 2011 with a 54-52 win Wednesday. Gary Bell Jr. led the way for the Bulldogs with 15 points. Well, be sure and tune in tomorrow night for i Fiber one Sports coverage of Afraid of Basketball as the Tigers host the Ellensburg Bulldogs. The action gets started at 6. Lee Theater in Afreda is putting on a Super Bowl party Sunday afternoon, so be sure and invite family and friends to turn out and cheer on the Seahawks. Well, that's it for sports. We'll be right back after this.